and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I am posting a little Call of Wild video. This is just a few recent highlights from various hunts, all on the new map, Te Awara. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, as everyone knows it's a bit of a hard one to pronounce. All of the names on this map are a little bit difficult to pronounce unless you know. And uh, yeah, so starting off with finding a level 5 goat at one of these lakes that I always go to for goats in multiplayer. I mean, he looked big enough to me, but I wasn't sure if he might be too small. I have been trolled by so many goats. Um, I think maybe even three or four at this particular lake. I've had so many big level 5 goats at this lake, which is good proof to me that it's a decent place to always hunt them. It always seems to be the two lakes. This one is in the top left corner of the map. And it kind of goes, look, or looks like it goes out of the reserve. But I found if you come to this shore that's like more in the reserve, there's always goats here. Always. If you're at, at the drink time. Uh, sort of, I always go for between half ten and eleven. Took him there with the Mosin, which is my opted gun for the chamois and feral goats. And I have the 303 for uh, fallow deer, feral pigs, seeker, anything like that. But I always check, just in case there's another level 5, because I have now seen twice I've had two level 5s stood side by side, one of which would make diamond and one of which was a troll. So I always will look around and scan just to check and see. You can see how many goats must have been here, because they always tend, there's always like a group by the actual water, and even though it says they're drinking, there will be some up in the trees. So there was probably more that I didn't even spot up here. But he was the the one I decided to take. Always look, I always look around like that as well because I've had it where goats have come back extremely quickly. Like I've ha actually watched them do it where they'll stop and turn around and just come straight back. So you never yeah you can hit there you go there's one warning calling there. So you never know if this could be just one just stood there waiting. Which, it seems like they have a bit of a slow detection, but yeah, I saw the horns and I, yeah, far too small. I've got two diamonds of this fur type, so it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't great. I would always prefer to get a diamond, but I've got two of that colour, which is such a nice colour with that dark brown. And then this is a spot I always check for fallow deer. It's... I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. It's something inlet on sort of the top, top middle-ish right hand side. And there was an albino fallow doe. Because this is the fallow hotspot. If you know the place I'm talking about, this is just an insane spot for fallow. I have had two level fives and three birds. Now at this point, and also since I've been playing on PC and playing on the new map, I've noticed that that happens a lot where I'll shoot and I get turned around. I don't know if that's just a bug or just if it's a PC thing coming because I'm coming from playing on Xbox, but it's very odd and quite disorientating sometimes if you're shooting close quarters in thick forest with seeker etc. You can get a bit confused. But yeah, I was pretty pleased to find one of these. This was actually on my uh, fiancé's map. Um, he hadn't hunted it and he was quite happy for me to come and see what it was about. And yeah, I'll always take a rare. Always take a rare. I don't care if a, a rare is male or a female to me, a rare is a rare. So That's going in the lodge. Definitely. And you'll notice that bit of footage overlap there and I wanted that there for a reason because it continues straight on and I want you to see exactly how close this was because this is one of the best doubles I've had in a long time is I went from that spot there a few meters along and I could see another albino fallow doe what was that? that must be what 100 meters 150 meters if that from where I just picked that doe up I was like I couldn't believe it. And they do look so cool. They really do stand out. 
and the 303 just drops in my tracks. I love that noise of the 303. It's such a good gun. If you don't have the 303, I really recommend it. It obviously comes with this map, so if you're on console, it's going to be a bit of a wait. But it's... I think, to me, it replaces the M1. Which is saying a lot, because I've used the M1 on a lot of animals. Both diamonds, rares, big stuff, small stuff. For culling herds, for taking trophy animals. And the 303 seems to outperform it. But, yeah, here she is. Vital organ hit, dropped her in her tracks, exactly the same as the other one. And I thought that was pretty cool. You couldn't really plan for that, to have two right next to each other. And then this is the same lake, but a different multiplayer server. Um, I, again, it was fallow drink time, so I decided to come here and look for fallow. Because I'm always happy to take a rare fallow deer, until I got... Call of the Wild on PC, I'd never shot a rare fallow deer. I had culled so many and never shot one. And then I saw this guy. Big level 5. Like you can tell, you can always like know it's a level 5 just as you see them. The racks just look big. I wasn't sure he was gonna make it though and so I stopped him from running away using the 2-2 two -two there. Because if you don't know, if you shoot a 2-2 bullet near an animal, it will make them go alert. Which, if they're trotting away to go to another zone, which he seemed to be, he was definitely trying to leave. It Because it makes them go alert, it stops them from doing that. And it often makes them turn broadside as well, which is really handy for getting a shot. So if they're calm, they do, you don't want them to be attentive or alert. If they're alert and you shoot a 2-2 bullet at them, they will flee. Especially if they're diamonds, they're gone. There you go, he went calm again. 2-2 two -two bullet just near him, not at him, just near enough. And that made him go alert. And there you go, look at him. Doing exactly what I said, he went broadside and then he went front on. Looking at him there, I was pretty confident he was too small. Like, I, I'm never going to risk it, but I looked at the score and I knew that that was too small. But it's still a max level animal, and I'm always cautious with max level animals. I've been trolled before where I've shot something that it had a very low estimate, looked big, and then it was big. There you go. Started walking away again. 2 2. Made him go alert. 3 3. I took that a little bit high and a little bit to the right, but that would be good for single bong, and as you can see, he dropped very quickly, which is always very good. And again, same sort of situation with the goats, is just checking around to make sure that there isn't another level 5, or a rare, or something I didn't see that spooked. Because you never know. I've done it before. You shoot something good and something else comes out of the, the bush next to it. But I couldn't see anything. So I thought I'd go just pick him up before I did anything else. It's always kind of sad when you think, or when you know that they're not going to make it, or if you know you've messed it up or something, and you've got to go and pick it up and you're like, eh, I wish it made it. But still cool to see a max level animal, whatever. It's It perks up a hunt, that's for sure. Way too small. Way too small. Still cool though. Always happy to get one. <laughs> and just to finish up, another set of double rares that I got. Right next to each other was one little male melanistic rabbit. And then after I shot him and as they were fleeing back into the burrows, I noticed there was another one. Quickly took a shot as she was going in. A melanistic female. Thanks for watching.